dearest Catherine, I miss you, my darling, as I always do. But today is especially hard because the ocean has been singing to me and the song is that of our life together. I can almost feel you beside me as I write this letter and I can smell the scent of wildflowers that always reminds me of you. But at this moment, these things give me no pleasure. Your visits have been coming less often and I feel sometimes as if the greatest part of who I am is slowly slipping away. I'm trying though, at night when I'm alone I call for you and whenever my ache seems to be the greatest you still seem to find a way to return to me. Last night in my dreams I saw you on the pier near Wrightsville Beach. The wind was blowing through your hair and your eyes held the fading sunlight. I slowly begin to walk towards you and when you finally turn to me I notice that others have been watching you as well. Do you know her? They ask me in jealous whispers, and as you smile at me, I simply answer with the truth, better than my own heart. I stop when I reach you and take you in my arms. I long for this moment more than any other. It is what I live for, and when you return my embrace, I give myself over to this moment. At peace once again, I raise my hand and gently touch your cheek, and you tilt your head and close your eyes. My hands are hard and your skin is soft and I wonder for a moment if you'll pull back. But of course you don't, you never have. And it is at times like this that I know what my purpose is in life. I'm here to love you, to hold you in my arms, to protect you. I'm here to learn from you and to receive your love in return. I'm here because there is no other place to be. But then as always, a mist starts to form as we stand close to one another. It's a distant spot that rises from the horizon. And I find that I grow fearful as it approaches. It slowly creeps in enveloping the world around us, fencing us in as if to prevent escape, like a rolling cloud, it blankets everything, closing until there is nothing left but the two of us. I feel my throat begin to close and my eyes well up with tears because I know it is time for you to go. The look you give me at that moment haunts me. I feel your sadness and my loneliness and the ache in my heart that has been silent for only a short time grows stronger as you release me and then you spread your arms and step back into the fog because it is your place and not mine. I long to go with you, but your only response is to shake your head because we both know that is impossible.